Hello and thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel. My name is Enyunam. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe and also share the link so that somebody can learn a thing or two, get inspired and find a vocation here in agriculture. On this channel, we bring you 360 from crops to livestock to aquaculture to horticulture. Everything agriculture is what we do here. So today I'm seated next to my very good friend Rexford. He is into poultry farming. He does almost everything from feed to uh, hatching to many other things, training. When it comes to poultry, he's the best person I can recommend. His farm is called Rex Farm. Now today we want to educate any person or anybody aspiring to become a poultry farmer how you can progress from buying day old chicks from abroad especially if you are in ghana and start hatching or producing your own day old chicks now on the video or on the background you can see the parent stock that is a blend of the male and female chicks stocked together in one particular room so they can cross each other and lay eggs but let's get into it Rex, for thanks for joining me now how do i progress from importing day old chicks to start keeping my own bull stock and they'll be laying eggs for me to produce how do you come by the parent stock you have there okay thank you very much um uh, once again i'm Rex for, um you know one thing is uh, as a farmer you have to get, as a farmer you have to get the aim of um, um, acting or getting your own deal chicks uh, uh, whereby I, I, I try to import my own parent stock so that uh, I can uh, have my own chicks out of them so I keep the parents that both the fox and the hen together so that they can give me a fertilized eggs so that I can um, hatch them myself yeah so through that i i think that i, I i've been I, i've been expanding my 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 farm and getting my own uh day which is i i i've uh, cast down cast down some um other oh. expenses yes that uh whenever you see every year i've been importing my own chicks but i said no this is a time that i have to uh, try to um ask my own day so um i've been I've, I've, I've gotten my own incubator and my own parents stock whereby i can get my own day chicks out of them okay so the type of parents stock you have what variety of beds are these um i think um i have uh, uh bovans and um i have uh, black layers i have uh, decaps and i have my red cocks also another uh, uh, base also other uh, ornamental base also which i ask them myself okay yeah. so at what age would the cock and hen get to before you start crossing them to give you fertilized eggs? Okay, um, when uh, the cocks ma must get, uh, um, must be at the age of, let's say, um, almost like uh, 40 to uh, 50 weeks. Let's 40, 40 to 50, 50 weeks. weeks for the cock? For the cock, okay. yes. But for the hen, um, can, can be uh, at the range of, let's say, uh, uh, seven by six months to seven months. Yeah, you can start your crossing. Okay. Yeah. All right. From day old chick all the way to the weeks you are mentioning, how many times do you feed them? And as you're preparing them to become parent stock, how do you handle those ones from the regular layers that you know just lay eggs for you? Okay. Um, for for the parent stock, um, you have to uh, um, at least uh, give them um, the the feed which um, they can they can lay very well for you. Um, you see, for the parents' talk like this, we are not supposed to give them um, more protein like that, so that okay. uh, when when they when they hatch, uh, when they lay the egg, you can't get uh, the correct fertilizers from them. So we have to we have a kind of feed we, we, we give it to them, so that they can be fat or they can they can give you the correct eggs you, have, you want from them. Okay, so since we are talking about feed, how do I know that this is the quantity of soya? maize all put together to give to them you said i should reduce my protein so yes. please explain the kind of feed you actually give to them okay let's say i've been giving them um layer mash okay 
layer mash to them right. in which i reduce the protein content out of it by what percentage like uh, let's say by uh 20 to 40 percent okay okay so how many times do you feed the parents stock? i feed them twice twice yes. okay so the hen how many times do you pick the fertilized egg they lay from the hand cook or the hand pen? Um, I've been uh, picking them, I think, every uh, two hours I have to uh, go through the, this in the pen so mm -hmm. that I can take them. You know, when, when you leave the egg inside for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they sometimes break their, or uh, uh, the egg will get cracked. Okay. Which, when, they, when there's a sign of crack on the egg, you can't hatch it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Um, how long are you going to keep the parent stock for? How oh, long? For let's say two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Then you sell it off. Yeah, I'll sell it off. Yeah. And then you produce yeah, another, another one. one yeah. Okay. So after you pick the eggs from here, where do you take it next before they get hatched? Well, after I pick the egg, I just send it to my actually uh, 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 room, and I just uh, first I uh, put it in the, in the incubator. Okay. Yeah. How long do they stay in the incubator? For almost 21 days. 21 days. Yeah. And then it's ready to hatch. Yeah. So when it's hatched, where do you take it? Because I realized that there was some small structure yeah. and I saw the day old chicks there. Is it after hatching from the incubator, then you bring them here or you can keep them here and they will hatch also? So when, they, when they hatch, I just transfer them from, uh, from the incubator to the building uh, room. Okay. The building house here. Okay. So viewers, I'll be showing you the brooding room where he's prepared himself and he's keeping them there so do you also sell the parent stock i sell when they are old i guess uh, i sell them okay yeah. now how much do you invest into even importing the parent stock how much after every two and a half years oh let's say depending on the quantity of bears i want to um i want to uh import uh, now you see uh, uh things are very expensive now because now they would, when you are importing they would like this, mm -hmm. uh, for, for normal uh, layer like this, it's, it's almost like 15 cities. So um, for the parent stock, uh, the price of the parent stock is, is, is a little bit higher than the, the normal uh, end. Okay. So, yeah. How much is one parent stock? Assuming you are importing, yeah. how much is one sold? So they sell it around, um, uh, around 30 cities. For one? For one, yeah. Is it a cock or the hen? Both. Both. Yeah. 30 cities. Yes. So assuming you're buying 1,000, it's 30 times. Times a 1,000, the number of days. Okay. So when you move them to your farm, do you have any mortalities? Do any of them die? Yes. You know, uh, you still get a mortality because, um, you know, uh, there are some you get, they'll be weak when transporting or when bringing them to your farm. Okay. So um, some will be weak and some will be like, I think the strong ones will survive after five days. Okay. Yes, or let's say 10 days. Right. Yeah. I see. So how then do I handle my parents' stock after I buy it and transferring to my farm? How should I handle it? And when I bring them here, how should I also handle it? Um, when bringing it, I think you have to uh, 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 put them in the correct van. Uh, I was bringing them, okay. and when you, as soon as you bring them, also um, um, your 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 building room also must be correct, and uh, you have to um, uh, get your lamp or that either your lamp or your your you just have a small charcoal uh, with a, 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 a distant uh, with a pot. You okay. just put the charcoal and the other stuff in right. it so that they they can they can get warm whenever uh, like when they are in their building room. Yeah. Okay. Now, when it comes to crossing, do you force them to cross? No, you don't force them. They cross they themselves. Cross themselves yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Now, when it comes to caring for parent stock versus caring for regular layers, is there any difference on how to care for the two of them? Oh, there's no much difference. But the only difference is, uh, see, for 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 the for the um, parent stock, the one you are using for your your arching or mm. your the one you are getting the fertilizers from them yeah. you have to just uh, uh, go through it and every time to see the weak ones in it okay or uh, see that you know there are there are some they will not lay for you mm. which you have to take them out from them and mm. just uh, feed them very well okay. but when they are they are well fed mm -hmm. that's where they can lay well for you okay um Rexford, 
the parents talk how many um little ones day old chicks are you able to get from them after every three months or four months uh, when you collect the eggs how many months do you take before you have your day old chicks uh, you see depending on the quantity of bears suppose okay. maybe i'm having 100 100 uh, bears how many do you have now the uh, parents talk the for both talk. the whites and then the brown uh, i'm having uh, like almost almost like um let's see almost like 300 300 yes, okay stock, yes. okay so how many day old chicks are you able to get after is it every three months or four months i want to oh, for the for the eggs uh -huh. they, they, i think each each uh, 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 bed lay once let's a say day. a day okay. and for when you are when you are you are, you are, you are it's like you are you are making your crossing like you're supposed to get five five ends like the female is supposed to be five okay yeah uh, like uh, for each cock so for each cock yes five hands for to one, one cock. cock yes five okay hands to one cock. okay that's what yeah, that's how you do, yeah, it. Yeah, do it oh okay okay so that's what i'm saying that i want to know if i invest into thousand pieces of let's say 500 hands 500 cock when i bring them after the number of weeks they take and they are ready to start laying eggs the fertile eggs for hatching yeah. how many times in a year mm. do you get your day old checks hatched from these parent stocks oh let's say um if like the best are 500 die, mm. especially at the end mm -hmm. they are 500 mm. you don't get 100 percent okay of the egg okay. from them right uh let's say approximately uh um you divide the 500 by the uh, like by the 30 uh, uh, 30 uh, pieces of x uh, which you get the number of um you get the number of uh, ends which they are laying for you oh, okay yeah. all right that's fine now let's move down to the marketing side of it is it the layers you are using now the layers that give you eggs do you get them from this same parent stuff the layers i'm using yes oh you know there are there are good ones in it which i i reserve them okay yes so sometimes when they are old like this i just lay them off and just import a new ones okay so if you are selling the parent stock mm. how much would the cock go for the cock yes go for let's say uh, 50 cities 50 cities yes. wow and the hen um then 40 40 to 45 cities oh, okay mm. okay so at what point do you sell them Christmas? Christmas is coming. Are you going yes, to sell any yes, of them? Yes, I You'll be sell selling them, them off. Yes, I will sell them. Okay. I realize that the hens, they, they, some of their feathers are removed. Yes. Is it a side of infection or it's normal? Oh, it's normal. That, that means that they are getting old. Okay. Yeah, they are getting old. When, when they are old, like they, their right. feathers just fell off and you see that they are getting old. Okay. Which you have to prepare yourself for another bag. Mm. And you are not supposed to sell them before getting another bag, but you have to get a, a, another batch which they'll be they'll be uh, 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 they'll be there for when whenever you are selling this one. So they'll be that they will place the uh -huh. old ones, yes. Okay, you don't have to sell off the parent stock mm. whilst you don't have new mm, ones. Have new ones. Oh, okay. Okay, now the hand coop or the hand pen, how do you keep it clean? Because I realize that the order here the smell is so minimum. How should I keep my hand pen? Uh, you, you have to make sure that the water doesn't pour on the sawdust. Secondly, also, um, every uh, two weeks, I've been taking off the, the old sawdust and just uh, and replaced with a new sawdust, which you can, you can bring the order or the scent down. Every two weeks? Every two weeks. I have to move all the old sawdust yes. out yeah. and replace it with new, new ones. ones. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Now, also, I realized that the the bowl, the it's the drink. Is it drinkers or what do you call it? Uh, the the feeders. Feeders. Uh, the feeders. Do you produce it yourself here, or you also import them? Oh, the feeders. We have locally ones over here. Produce. We produce them here. Okay. But sometimes you want to get the the good one, the plastic ones. Mm -hmm. I think the plastic ones last longer than the the metal, the metal ones. ones. So the one you have here are the metal ones. The metal ones yeah. Oh, okay. Is there is there a price difference? Is that why you're using yes. the metal one? Yes, the the, the, the plastic one is, is expensive than the, the, the metal one. The metal ones, yeah. Okay. But on a whole, is poultry farming business is it good? How is the current state? Because a lot of the farmers are complaining. From those who have layers, brawlers, 
and you now that you are even into hatching, how is the business going? Oh, the business is, is, is now, let's say, I can't say that it's, it's bad now because when I say it's bad now, you know, the price of the feed has increased and now everything has, has, has increased in the system. So it all depends on you to get a strategic this thing, uh, way of uh, taking care of them. Yeah. In which you shouldn't, uh, like as a, as a beginner, you shouldn't take more than, uh, uh, more best, uh, which you are not supposed to, you, you can't get enough money to take care of them. Okay. But you have to take according to what you can take care of them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, uh, in that matter, you have to, um, um, at least uh, gather yourself very well before you enter to this uh, uh, poultry farm. Okay. Now, in a day, here in your farm, how many pieces of eggs do you collect every day? Uh, among the, uh, the fertilizer? Yes, uh, all the eggs. Oh, like almost like uh, 70 crates a day. One crate is how many? 24. Uh, 30. 30. Yeah. So 30 times how many crates? 70. 70. Wow, that's a lot. Mm. Between the brown and black um, beds versus the white ones, which one is good? The 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 white ones lays lays a lot. The white yeah. beds lay yeah, a, a lot, lot of, eggs a, a of eggs compared to the brown and black. Yes. They oh, are, okay. Good, they are good in Why? But you give them the same feed. Yes, but you know, um, for the uh, for the white ones, mm. I think uh, I don't know, but. Uh, their their way of laying is, is 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 higher than the the brown and the black. Okay. Which, uh, okay. All right. So viewers, let me show you the crate of eggs. So you pick seventy of these crates yes. every day. Every day. How much is one crate going for now? Now, um, one crate is is, is almost. Uh, let's say we have we have we have grades. Okay. Yes. So for for like for this ones. Great goes, means the sizes. The sizes, yes, okay. The sizes. Okay. Like for this size, uh -huh. goes for uh, 30, 33 CDs. Okay. Yes, 33 CDs. Okay. For this one. And the pullet also is 30 CDs. Which one is? Do we have the pullet here? Um, let's say the small ones. No, okay. we have, I don't know. This is the medium one. Okay. Which is, uh, let's say, 32. 32. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, okay. The pullet one is 29, 30 CDs. Okay. So you collect them based on the sizes yeah, size. or the grade, the grade and yeah. that determines the price. Yeah. Yeah. And you collect these crates, 70 of them every day. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now my final question. Um, a lot of times we hear farmers, in fact, a few days ago, a farmer came to me presenting certificates of destruction of birds due to flu. How do I keep my my poultry farm to avoid any form of infection outbreak? Yes. You see, um, that's that, that's what I initially said that um, for for your your sodas, you have to at least every two weeks you have to change the sodas and you have to fumigate the place with disinfectants. I think we have I have one uh, uh, disinfectant which I've been using. <laughs> yes, which you have to fumigate every place. The farm. At least every at least every every one month you have to spray the environment, spray the, the crops and at least make the place very neat. Because when your place is not neat, you will always get problem in your farm. Okay. Yes. Because um you know birds get uh, uh, affected by mm. their sodas mm. and when the place also is no neat. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep your place very neat, mm. remove your sodas every two weeks. Mm. You shouldn't wait mm -hmm. till let's say you, you, you say that uh, maybe um you are waiting to two months or uh, three months before you change the sodas, else you get problem. Okay. So you have to, I think, regular changing of sodas mm -hmm. every two weeks. Okay. Uh, helps you not to get uh, uh, the issues in, in, the your issue farm. in your farm. Okay. Yeah. So right now, the day old chicks you have there, I'll be showing my viewers to see the day old chicks. How many days old are they? Now they are, they are almost, uh, let's say, they are seven days. Thirty two, uh, seven days now. Seven days. Uh, yes. But why is the wood covered with sacks? Uh, you no, know, when when they are there with like that, you know, the weather is very cold also. So you are supposed to cover the place and to give and them warm. warm. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So how many days more? Can I hope I? I wish I can catch this. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So this one I'm talking about. How old is this one? 
That is seven days now. Seven days? Yes. Okay. So how many days is she going to take before you move them out of uh, that see. place? Almost like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Okay. Then you can take them out oh, of that place. Yeah. Oh, my days. goodness. All right. So I have a day old chase on my hand. <laughs> what do you have to tell people who are aspiring to become poultry farmers? Oh. Any advice? The advice I can give to my viewers is poultry farm is not a bad business. Poultry farm is a very good business, which when you when, when start, you know what I'm talking about. Because um, there's a lot of money in it, and which it's also, uh, 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 you, have to, you have to get money also to invest also in it. Because when you invest, you get your money. Okay. Yes. So poultry farm is a very good business, which when you, you start, you know what I'm talking about. Because... Uh, there are a lot of money in poultry farm. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So there you have it, Rex Ford, and he is the CEO of Rex Farms. He's been in poultry farming for over how many years? Twelve. Twelve years. So he's got a lot of experience. If you want to do training, you can contact us on zero five five four eight three zero four three one, and we'll connect you to Rex Ford to give you training on how to start your own poultry farm. And of course, if you also want to buy eggs, you can contact Rex Farms and they will sell you some of their eggs. And the day old, also. And the day -old chicks, if you want to buy day old chicks, they would equally sell day old chicks to you. Please subscribe to our channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Share the links. Let somebody get to learn about farming or agriculture here in Ghana. According to him, initially, he started with importing day old chicks, but now, he started producing his own day old chicks right here in his farm. That is the progress every farmer must make in their line of farming. My name is Anjinam. Thank you so much for watching. Next time I come your way again, but Christmas is coming. So if you want to buy some cocks and hen, you should try and see Rexford. He's on Facebook. What's your mm. handle? Rex for Sapon. Rex for Sapon. Is he on Instagram and Twitter as well? No, it's really okay, so Facebook Rex for Sapon. If you get in touch with him, he will sell some of his day old chicks. And of course, the best to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.